Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to catch a rabbit. Whether you're looking to trap a rabbit to eat or if your pet rabbit got away and you're trying to catch him, this video will teach you how to do it. To catch a rabbit, you will need traps, an apple, and a knife. But last but not least, patience. Now that we have our supplies, let's go look for a good spot to set our traps. Rabbits love hiding in thick brush. So this brush pile behind me, that's where we're gonna set our first trap. Right there looks like a good spot. Let's set the trap. You wanna make sure your trap is level and it doesn't wobble back and forth so when the rabbit steps in it and it wobbles back and forth, it could freak it out and it won't wanna go in there. Oh, there's a squirrel. When setting your trap, you want to make it look as natural as possible. So you might want to cover the bottom of the trap up with leaves. Like that. But if you have homemade box traps, then work a whole lot better than these cage ones. Like these here. Now that we have our trap here in position, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it with a hair trigger. This is important. You see this little mechanism right there? Well, yeah, it's connected to that pan. That's what keeps the door open. So when something steps on the pan, that moves, and the door shuts real quick, and they're trapped. Well, I'm gonna show you how to set it with a hair trigger. See, a lot of people when setting these traps, they push it all the way to that corner which it'll still catch but it just takes a lot more pressure to set off the trap so with me i like to set it almost at the very end of that little bar there so it doesn't take but one little step and boom they're trapped it doesn't take as much pressure so now the trap is set i'm gonna bait it up all right so now you want to take your apple and cut it into little pieces. You don't need much of an apple, maybe one fourth, if that. What I usually do is I cut off like a bigger chunk and I put this in the back of the trap. Now I'm gonna trim up the area with real little itty bitty pieces of apple. All right, now that I chummed the area, we're gonna cover the trap up with leaves and make it look even more natural. You see the trap? I don't. And there we go, our first trap is set. I'm gonna go set a few more using the rest of this apple. You guys are probably wondering if you could use carrots, which you can, but from my experience, apples are the way to go. They have a sweeter smell and rabbits prefer them. Let's go set another trap. Right in here looks like a good spot. Let's set our trap. All right, we have one last trap to set, and this is the same trap I caught the mink that killed my chickens. It's a few videos back if you wanna check it out, but instead of setting it over there by the brush piles, I'm gonna be setting it over here down this fence line because the rabbits run the fence lines also. It's a good spot. All right, I think I just found the best spot for my third trap. See, the rabbits come in that gap in the fence there, and then they run the fence line all the way around but look at this sign I found 
you could see where a rabbit's been chewing on this little sapling. So needless to say, we're gonna put our third trap right here. Here's the third trap. We got a nice piece of apple sitting in front and then we got a big old juicy piece in back. So I don't think he'll be able to resist that. Be sure to check your traps daily and rebait your traps accordingly. But don't forget patience. This might take a while. I'll pick you guys back up when I catch something. I think we got something in our trap. I'm pretty sure we got something in the trap. Let's go check it out. Hey, what did we get? Oh no, not a squirrel. Oh, he's mad too. He's chattering his face. He's making chatter noises because he's angry. I don't think you want to mess with him. Well, we're going to release him. That's not our target animal. And we're going to get the trap rebaited up and try for another rabbit. What, I, what I'm actually going to do, it's the morning. What I'm going to do is wait till later on before dark to bait it up so the birds and, you know, the squirrels don't eat the bait, the apple. So, that's what we'll do. We'll, I'm going to bait it up later on tonight before bed. Over and out, y'all. What's going on, everybody? Today, we are checking the traps. There's nothing over in that one. Doesn't seem like there's nothing in that one either. Oh my gosh, the door's down. We got something, guys. We got something in this one. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, it's a little rabbit. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Look at him. He's hiding behind that leaf. Yeah, we caught a rabbit, guys. We caught him. Look at him. Yeah. Oh no, he's scared now. Well, this is how you catch a rabbit, everybody. It took about a week or two. I didn't expect for it to be that long, but as I said, patience, everyone. Patience, persistence, and the will to catch a rabbit. And we got one. Look at him. He doesn't seem too awful scared either. Yeah, we got him. We got him. If you can't tell, I'm... I'm pumped up. Did you learn how to trap a rabbit by using this video? Let me know down below. Leave a cool comment. Oh yeah. Hi buddy. What do you net what do you want to name him? We will call you Rabbit. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't know guys. This is it. I'm just talking because I want to get a certain amount of length in my video. <laughs> oh yeah, we caught a rabbit. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a cool comment down below. We're going to leave the trap out, or the traps out for a couple more days. And if we get another rabbit, I'll show you. If not, this is all we got. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you all in the next one. Peace.